So I've just uh, added to my family of PitKit microcontroller programmers this PitKit 2. Um, I developed firmware for the solar charge controller originally on a PitKit 1 and for a while I was using this as a production programmer but it is very slow and uh, so I upgraded a little while back to the PitKit 3 which is fine, it's excellent, it's fast it also has the programmer to go function so this one is uh, permanently programmed with my hex code um, for programming the 12F683 microcontrollers but I wanted to do some uh, get back into programming and do some uh, updates to the code and I wanted to use one of these older architecture mid-range chips this is the 16F690 which comes with the low pin count um, development board, the demo board so I thought well, okay well, let's get the PitKit 2 and uh, use that to develop some little um, code segments which uh, I'm thinking of um, putting into the charge controller. So I've been playing around with this low pin count board um, and I've put a little program in it so let's use this um, pack of four AA batteries it gives a, a 5 volt USB out and I'm going to just poke these wires into the holes on this board and I I want them to be loose I want it so that when I wobble these around uh, the power goes on and comes off and generally makes this thing reboot constantly either through power on resets or through brownout resets so let's switch that on and what we have is a flashing LED LED 4 is flashing so now let's see if we can watch that flash while I waggle these wires around creating as many resets and reboots and brownouts and nasty power glitches as I can and it just keeps on going flashing that LED now the reason I did this is because I wanted to um, get the pick to differentiate between different kinds of reset so when it detects that there was a power on reset or a brownout reset it just reboots the program and runs it again and the program is just a flashing LED but the switch here is connected to RA3 and that's set into master clear mode so actually that causes a reset and when you do it the pattern changes and the purpose of this was to see if the microcontroller could differentiate between a master clear reset where there clearly isn't um, any loss of power which it does by changing the pattern each time I press the button differentiate between that and power on events so for example if I switch this off here the power goes off, switch it back on and the code doesn't change okay the program reboots but the code doesn't change so that's, um, that's working in effect it can differentiate between the two types of reset and uh, gives the result on those flashing LEDs and that's my project for today